So what I'm going to do is I made a little quick, fast little loop. And I'm going to show you the difference when you pitch your drums to fit in the key of the song. It sounds so much better. It make, they just come together better instead of being all over the place. Your drums will really have their own lane if, this, if they're in the key. You know, a lot of people don't pay attention to this. So check this out. This is a pattern I made. And what this pattern is going to be, a pattern to let you hear how something sounds and then how it sounds after pitch. And then I'm going to show you two ways to find the pitch of a sound and then how to find a key of a song. All right, let's go. All right, so that is the loop. Now, the first way I'm going to show y'all is with Edison. I'm sure a lot of people y'all a lot of people know how to do this. This channel is not for intermediate people. It's for beginners. So, if you're a beginner making beats, this is for you. First things first, drag your sample or sound into Edison. Drag and drop. You can drag it from here or you can drag it straight from the channels over here. So, once you get it into Edison, you go here and then you go to Regions, Detect Pitch Regions. Okay, so once you detect pitch regions, you see here, it says E. It looks like the the kick is in E and the 808 is in D. So different people go about this different ways. Some people would definitely put it in E and say whatever. Some people would put it in D. So that's one way to detect the pitch regions. And this is the only problem that I have with this way because you don't know what key to put it in. So the second way is going to be new tone. Now, new tone comes with Fruity Loops, and it's basically the same thing. You drag and you drop to new tone. New tone is showing the same exact thing as Edison. But with new tone, um, put it on key, whatever key you want. So I'm going to put it on C. I'm going to put it here to C. And then. You can either leave it like this, it'll sound like this, or you can center it, it'll sound like this. Not much different. You can take the transient out or add it in, um, the variation, let me see. Either way, once you get it where you want it, this also works for samples as well, sounds. Once you get it where you want it, and then you just go ahead and drag it back to your playlist, either on top of the old one or you can make a new one. So now this 808 is tuned. It is in C. And I'm good, you know? This is good. That's the two ways to do that. Find the uh, tune your 808s and snare drums. A lot of those are out of key and claps. So that's the two ways. Now I'm going to show you how to detect the key of a whole song. So I got this plugin called Hornet Song Key. It's dope. It's, dope. it's really dope. Okay, so if you notice, just if I play the 808 that I just changed the key. What it's saying is the key of the song that's being heard by this plugin is C and the note is C as well. The chord or note. So this, you can just play any sample and it'll tell you the key and you know you can go in the sampler here and put in whatever key uh, major or minor it tells you and once you do that 
any note you play will match the key of that sample. From drums to more instruments. Hope this tutorial has been helpful for y'all out there. And um, thank you, comment, rate, subscribe. Check out the music, beats, everything.